Welcome to MSC Tonight. I'm Tyler Covington. And I'm Rebecca Mozella. This is the very last episode of MSC Tonight this semester. Well, I guess all good things must, uh, must come to an end, I suppose. Well, tonight we're going to have TV Club's John Morris on the show. And also, LJ's going to see how many licks it takes to get to the center of a blow pop. Also, Justin will give us an inside look at the production side of MSU Tonight, while no one attends a play on campus. Up first, it's Hot Topics. School is almost over for the year and that means spring graduation is just around the corner. On May 13th in the CFSB Center, hundreds of MSU students will cross the stage and receive their diplomas before they get ready for life after college. Among those graduating this semester are MSU Tonight's very own Nicole Albert, Adam Lohr, Kelly Diesel, and Hannah Babcock. Congratulations, guys. Do you ever wonder how this show is made? Our very own Justin Gaston gives us an inside look at our class, JMC 358. With the semester winding down and finals week quickly approaching, MSU Tonight wanted to show you a look behind the scenes into what makes our TV show so great. All of these young, talented, bright characters you see come together in one room and brainstorm ideas that they then go out and execute into the content that you see every Tuesday night at 5. While we sure do make it fun, this is actually a class for television production majors or any Murray State student that has any interest for television. For instance, our very own Nicole Albert, who is a public relations major, spoke with us about how this class has helped her in her job field. Uh, as a PR major, um, kind of watching the way trends have been and kind of where they're going, um, I've seen a lot of movement towards video and kind of similar to how journalists are experiencing kind of like a backpack journalist movement to where they have to do like everything, like not just reporting, but filming and editing themselves. Um, I felt like it would be very valuable for me to be able to do those same things, but from a public relations perspective. And like, even if I'm not actually doing any of the filming myself in whatever job I end up in, being able to communicate with different creators, because I have taken all of these television production classes, is just a super valuable asset to me. If you are looking to showcase your creativity, please speak with your advisor about how you can get into this JMC 358 course. Happy summer, everyone. Last Friday was the fastest Friday in Kentucky, an event held by the football team. Coach Stewart encouraged Murray State students to come out in big numbers to pack the arena on Friday. And for an added incentive, the program allows students and Greek organizations to tailgate inside of Roy Stewart Stadium, just like Tin City at homecoming. There were many games for the fans to play in between halves, such as catching drills, seeing if they can hit a field goal, and other fun games. As the team wraps up their spring football season, they look onward and upward towards the football season. Forward to get back to competing and and, uh, and getting back on the field. You know, spring was really really good for us. Um, but, but really looking forward to getting back to competing against one another and then most importantly quit banging, uh, banging heads against each other and getting to finally bang against somebody, uh, um, somebody else from a different school. It would be, uh, be good to uh, finally get to do that after, after eight or nine months of always competing against yourself and, and beating each other up. We kind of tried to, try to get the Greeks and everything out um, to come tailgate and we've had a really good showing. You know, uh, they, they came and started early and just had some fun and were able to hang out and just kind of get away from campus a little bit and, and, uh, and enjoy, enjoy being a college student and, and getting to do, you know, tailgated football games and do some other stuff that, that uh, most college kids should do. So it, it's been really good. The, uh, you know, we had a bunch of little kids come out for the, uh, for the inflatables and having the DJ here and just being able to make this a family event and just, just kind of a party as opposed, to, um, as opposed to just a game. Do you know how we have this show right now? Because a group of students wrote it. A massive writer strike was barely avoided today when the, Guild, when the Writers Guild of America reached a deal with the Hollywood Studios. About 13,000 film and TV writers were ready to strike starting at midnight last night, but they were able to make an agreement over pensions and health care plans and how much writers get paid. Los Angeles should be relieved considering the city lost more than a billion dollars during the writers' strike of 2007. 
This weekend, the Murray State Theater Department put on a play called The Cat on the Hot Tin Roof. Here's Nolan Winbun with more. This weekend, Murray State's Theater Department put on their rendition of the award-winning Cat on the Hot Tin Roof by Tennessee Williams. The play focuses on a dysfunctional family and their struggles with the lies that they tell themselves and others. I had a chance to sit down with one of the lead actresses, Shelby Fry, and talk to her about what this play meant to her. Tennessee Williams is my favorite playwright, and so this is something that I've wanted to do for a long time. And uh, I honestly think just being able to do a show that is so iconic was a gift in and of itself. I played Maggie the Cat, who is uh, the wife to Brick and uh, the primary liar among them. The show had a great turnout and even received a standing ovation by the audience. If you would like to show your support and go to one of their plays, tickets for upcoming events will be on murraystatetickets.com. Don't go anywhere. Up next, we will hear about John Morris's internship in Las Vegas. And later, we'll watch Nathan audition for Hollywood. But first, we got to catch back up with LJ. LJ, how many looks do you have? Like 300. Okay, keep looking. Man, keep I, looking, man. There's no way I could do that. That's crazy. He's going to be here all night. Probably. Do you even like lollipops? Not really. No. No. Okay, you're welcome. Welcome back to MSU Tonight. I'm Adam Lore. Tonight I'm joined with John Morris, who just got back from an internship in Las Vegas. So John, thank you for coming back on the show. Um, tell us, what kind of internship was this that you went to? Okay, well, it was um, part of the BEA, the um, Broadcast Education Association, and NAB, National Association of Broadcasting. Um, it was a trade show in Las Vegas. Um, I was a part of Wasco.tv on Wasco Entertainment. And um, basically what I did was kind of get hands on with a little studio style um, while at the trade show. So um, Steve, the, the CEO and founder of the company, did live interviews and um, he recorded those and coming in from 4K. What we did, we edited the interviews to put on his website. And then so as the trade show went on, we would scan people's ID, IDs. Um, we would work the camera if we needed to, if they needed any assistance, but most of the cameras were propped up. And we kind of just got a feel of what a live show would look like. Okay, so uh, how did you get selected to go on to this inter this internship? Um, actually, um, Professor Wright, Professor Lee Wright, um, sent me some information about it because she's a part of the BEA and she had to present. And so she got word of it. She sent it to me. Um, they had an application process, you know, asking how did I feel about being on camera, how did I feel about editing, and all those different things. And so I um, filled the survey out. I wrote an um, essay about why I feel like I want this internship, and then she wrote a recommendation for me. And so I sent it off and couple of days, maybe two or three business days, they got back to me and said I was accepted. That's really cool. Um, would you say that this was a, a good experience for you to like further your education and your experience in TV production? Uh, I would. I learned a lot from the live broadcasting, just kind of learning about a lot of the new technology that's going to go into broadcasting, what's used now, and like kind of the ups and the downs, and what to look forward to going forward. Um, the editing, I think, I was actually well prepared for it, honestly. The way we do stuff here at Murray State, um, I kind of went in there and was knowledgeable, so I just got to get my hands on and got to it. Um, the interesting thing about the internship is last year they had 10 people out of the country, and then it was only five this year. And so I was one of the five, and so it was kind of a pride thing to be a Murray State racer to be one of the first ones to do it out of five people. So. Wow, that's, that's really amazing. Um, so congratulations on the internship. Thank you. Um, and of course, we didn't just bring you here to talk about the internship. We right. also brought you here to talk about TV Club because you are the spokesperson. Um, so uh, first things first, just kind of tell our audience, what, what is TV Club and what do they do? Okay, um, well, TV Club is a bunch of people, not necessarily just TV majors or people who um, do the TV classes. Anybody who has an interest in TV, whether it's commercials, whether it's just small skits, videos, come and kind of give pitch their ideas to each other and then we get a team assembled of people in the TV club and we try to shoot them to the best of our ability. And um, so throughout the semester, throughout the year, honestly, people come in with different projects or different ideas and either it's a class thing or it's just a, a freelance thing that you want to do to have some fun, we come together and try to put those projects together to show some people. Um. How can other people get involved with TV Club next semester? Okay, yeah, exactly. Um, well, I'll be graduating this year as a spokesperson, so there will be a new spokesperson who will go to transitions classes. Um, going around campus, there's 
flyers. We have our own poster in Wilson Hall where you can see the different things that we do, just pictures of kind of some of the fun we have on shoots. Um, here in 812 on Tuesdays at uh, 6 o'clock, we always have a meeting. And so you guys come to that. You kind of get to, you don't have to be, um, you're not forced to sign up when you first come here, but you can learn about what we do and kind of what's going on, what projects are going on. And if you're interested, then you can sign up to be a member. And then from there, you just get more information. Then it's kind of word of mouth, spread the word. We'll put projects out. We'll have a showcase that's actually coming up. Um, so you get to come to that um, later on this semester, before the semester's over with, and you can learn more about us. And when is the showcase? The showcase is this Friday, May 5th, uh, Cinco de Mayo at 8 o'clock in the Curse in the Theater. So. And what kind of projects will we expect to see there? A bunch of funny stuff, honestly. <laughs> uh, we got a, a bunch of creative people in TV clubs, so we got some some projects that are going to resonate with some of the similarities that you've seen on TV before, kind of some spoofish type deals, and then you're going to see some outlandish stuff. A lot of people have some really creative minds in their group, so uh, it's a surprise. You just have to come out of eight and see, honestly. <laughs> Uh, all right, and then uh, real quick before we go, um, can you just tell the audience uh, how, like, do you have to pay to uh, be a member of TV Club, or how much does it cost to be a member? Okay, yeah, so um, when you want to be a member, uh, it's a $20 fee because you'll get a shirt, but you have, I mean, just to kind of show that you're committed to showing up and being the projects, because, I mean, what's a club if everybody shows up and for a meeting or shows up for one meeting and then leaves, then mm -hmm. we're kind of not much of a club, we're just a bunch of like two or three people there. So it's a $20 membership fee and uh, it's only for that $120 payment for the year. And then you can come in to all the meetings. If you miss some, it's fine. You'll get the information. We'll give you notes and keys and you come back and um, get back to it. So. All right. Well, thank you for coming on the show and talking to us about this, John. Mm -hmm. uh, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with Nathan. He's going to audition for Hollywood. <laughs> Stay tuned. Our very own Nathan Dunn has caught the acting bug. He wanted to display his talents by making a video to show the different genres he can perform. Here's his audition tape. Hello, I am Nathan Dunn, and this is my audition for Hollywood. Jack, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. Wearing this. Wearing only this. To be or not to be. That is the question, tis the... Tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles, and by opposing the end. Go fuck yourself, San Diego. You shall not pass! It's a trap! Hello, I am Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Next time, let's try not to bang the keys as hard as you banged me. My mom always said, life's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. How you doing? Nah, that's not good. How you doing? Yeah. How you doing? How you doing? I can't get it. Why so serious? Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? Elementary, my dear Watson. Fourth grade. Elementary, my dear Watson. Art. Last grade. Elementary, my dear Watson. Oh, that's a little too much British. Space, the final frontier. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Say another yeah. Yeah, yeah, baby. No, no, yeah, baby, yeah. Yeah, baby, yeah. Wow, that was really good. <laughs> anyway, up next, we're going to check back with LJ and his blow pop. We'll see what happens. Yeah, let's do that. Welcome back. Right now, we're going to catch up with LJ and see how far he's come with his blow pop. Let's take a look. Oh, looks good. OK, how many licks, LJ? Man, I've lost count. Are you serious? Like, ser you have LJ, you had one job. Oh, my. Oh. OK, well, thanks for watching MSU tonight this semester. Make sure you go back and watch our previous videos on youtube.com slash msu tonight. See ya. <laughs>